rejects, identifies, and experiences an encounter. Yeah. And it's early in Jesus' ministry, so we, we, we have uh, what we call, uh, what we believe to be uh, uh, that, that the naive, a uh, naivete of the believer, because not enough, not enough time has gone by about the works of Jesus, but yet, yet Jesus is not hindered by his lack of popularity in this point. Well. He only knows that there is a need, and he is there to meet the need of these people. Well. As I was reading the text, I really just want to walk it out and then keep it, keep it simple. Uh, uh, there are some things that come out of the text that you ought to understand that are still relevant in our lives today. Jesus is now coming into Jerusalem. He's left Galilee. He yeah. is, has performed the miracle of the nobler son. He leaves Galilee and he travels to Jerusalem because culturally there's a feast going on. And Jesus right. wants to participate in the feast because he is culturally connected to the Jews. Say it again, Pastor. He's culturally connected well, to the Jews. Well. A lot of times we do things in our lives just because of our culture. Yeah. for the 
Jesus first. And he'll help you find a job. When you're looking for a companion, you look for Jesus first. And he'll help you find the right companion. When, when you're looking for help, look for Jesus first. And the help will come afterwards. My God. So Jesus finds a man where he is. He speaks to his situation. He does not focus on his sickness. He does not focus on his circumstance. He does not focus on the years that he has been in that condition. But he comes immediately with a solution. Will thou be made whole? So I love Christ because Christ doesn't see things the way we do. A lot of times we pray to Jesus to join us where we are. And a lot of times Jesus will meet us where we are, but he's not going to join us where we are. All right. What are you saying, Pastor? People who join you where they are came prepared to stay where you are. Say that. Jesus came to meet you where you are with the intent to pull you out of where you are. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> we want it. We pray to God for his will to be done, but then we don't, we don't do nothing. Well, say that. Faith is what propels us after we pray that whatever I'm asking God for, that's what I need to be doing. Amen. Uh, let me say that in a different way. If you're hungry, don't just look in the refrigerator. <laughs> if you're hungry, turn on the stove. Because you're preparing to cook. So when you look in the refrigerator, no matter what's in there, you're going to cook. That makes sense? If you're not prepared to cook, when you open the refrigerator, guess what? You're not going to see nothing. Even though it's food in there. Oh, that's frozen. Oh, that takes too long. Oh, we had that yesterday. Oh, that day is inspired. You begin to talk yourself out of the very thing that you're trying to do. But when you open the door with the intent that there's going to be something in there for me to cook, let me go ahead and get the pot out now. Even though I don't know what's in there, let me go ahead and turn the oven on. Let me go ahead and get the microwave ready. Let me go ahead and get the plates down, get the pot on the stove, put some water, baby, because I'm going to be wanting something. It's going to be eggs, it's going to be rice or broccoli. But when I come out of this refrigerator, I'm going to So just to say, 
Because he said, I was trying to do it on my own. But I'm limited to what I can do on my own. Because what I need is not physical, it's spiritual. Oh, I just said something. If you can't see it in the spirit, it cannot manifest in the natural. Because miracles take place in the spirit realm first. And faith is the conduit that brings your miracle through the spiritual transformer that manifests itself in the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. He says, rise. rise. That's the man I want. Yeah. Take up your bed. Yeah. I love the text because as I was reading and doing some research, theologians that comment on this text says that it was imperative that Jesus gave the second command because not telling him to take up his bed left room for him to come back. Well, well, all right, all right. Some habits, some situations, Amen. you got to close the door forever. Never. Leave no room for you to return. No.
into the temple. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes, he did. Because there are so many people seeking the approval mm. of the church. Yeah. We try to go where the church is well. to get affirmation. But you'll find in the text that the people in the church mm -hmm. were not even excited Amen. about his healing. Say that. Say that. The people in the church were even moved Say that. by the power of his miracle. Say that. Say that. Because the church is focusing on the wrong thing. Church to celebrate, and they 
by faith, I'm leaving this place. And I'm walking in my destiny. I'm on my way to wherever you sent me, be God. And I love the text because you don't send him to the pool. You bless him right there. Praise the name of the Lord God. That whatever I need, God, you brought it to me. Show him your appreciation. 